Hey everyone, welcome to the video in which we are going to see how we can go from this to this. If you are watching this video for the first time, subscribe to Power BI Studio and stay updated with the design tricks. Let's get started with today's video. Let me copy all the KPA cards and paste them onto a new sheet and I am positioning them in the center. Yes. Now uh, let's change the canvas background color. Go to format pane, canvas background and select the color of your choice. Let me reduce the color transparency to zero. Yeah, this looks fine. Now go to uh, insert and select this rounded rectangular shape and place it in the canvas, ensuring that the new shape is placed over the KPA cards. We should also ensure that we are giving a minimal border distance between the KPA card and the rectangular shape. So once we have placed the shape properly, we can send it backwards. Go to format pane and send backward, send to back. This ensures that the shape is placed behind the KPA cards. Now let's select all the KPA cards, click on general and then go to FX to turn off the background and visual border of the cards. Yes, we can now select the shape and go to style and change the color to white and turn off the border for the rectangular shape. Now uh, select all the visuals including the new shape and then group it by clicking Ctrl plus G. Now we can have the size of our choice to this visual and place it anywhere in the canvas depending on the look and placement of other visuals in the dashboard. Say if we place it at the top right corner of the dashboard, so down below we can have a line chart uh, or a bar chart and if we can position them properly it will definitely have a great look. So uh, with this we are uh, done with the short video on how we can enhance our dashboard design. See you in the next video.